my name is Nikki Rose. Um, people also know me by my full name, which is Melissa Catherine Rose. And I'm playing Sarah Simpson Kirkpatrick. I guess my favourite part about any rehearsal process is getting to know your new cast, your new um, creative team, working with people that you've never worked with before. Uh, everyone brings their own skill set, their own experience you know, into the rehearsal room and that's always a really exciting sort of part of the, the process. Um, when it stops becoming just a bunch of strangers in a rehearsal room, it really starts to feel like a family, um, especially me in particular with um, Michael and Charlotte, sort of as our actual Kirkpatrick family unit. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else on a Tuesday and Thursday night. Sarah, I originally read, I sort of found her quite a, a bland character, sort of, to, to begin with, like that was my initial assessment, and then I started to do sort of more research on, on her and, and delving deeper into, you know, her story and, and the story of, you know, the family that she raised and all the situations that she sort of faced, and suddenly I started to see this woman who, who wasn't bland, who just lived her life with such positivity and such joy and, and such laughter on the outside even though on the inside she was very very broken uh, there was a lot of tragedy in, in the family's life and she was such an incredibly strong person you know the real Sarah Kirkpatrick just you know an incredible mother an incredible wife and, and the the strength of a woman to keep her family together after the things that happened and when you're suddenly faced with a character who is unfortunately quite a lot like yourself um, in your general life it can be quite intimidating um, I found the more that I got to experience the way that Sarah keeps all her emotions sort of hidden away so that people can't see them and and, and and finding that that lying reality between the, the way that I I do as well, um, it, it's almost like you hit a level of vulnerability that you've never hit before. You know, you're more vulnerable on stage than you've ever been in your life, and that is um, both incredibly releasing and incredibly terrifying at the same time. So I'm grateful to her, and she's. She's definitely not the, the bland character that I was. She's so much more than that. It's always easy to build relationships with people on stage when you trust them implicitly. Um, both Michael and Charlotte, you know, for all their, their youth, are incredibly disciplined. Um, they've got wonderful experience and they're so eager to learn and, and to keep, you know, developing their skills and, and wanting to invest in, in their training and to remember what I was like at, at their age, you know, wanting to be surrounded by people who, who worked in the industry, who trained in the industry and, and, and taking in everything that I could from them. And I see that in both Michael and Charlotte. And it's so easy to work with people like them when they are you know, open and, and they're, they're willing to try anything and, and to try everything and, and, you know, and, and, and know when something doesn't work and, and to sort of move on to the next thing and then you know, to, to know when you've found that moment with each other. And that's, that's really important. And you know, I mean, on top of that, we have a hell of a lot of fun um, at rehearsals as well and that just that just matters you know sort of having that that comfort level with each other where you can trust everything that happens in the rehearsal room that that's that's the, the greatest thing that you can you can do when you're developing relationships so with me with them it's been really easy Not to World War I, um, my paternal grandfather who was born in Malta 
um, joined the, uh, the British Mercantile Navy um, during World War II and he was on one of those supply ships and uh, they actually got uh, sunk by uh, the Germans sort of when they were on route to drop off supplies. And then he settled uh, in Australia. He came across and changed into the Australian Mercantile Navy and settled in Australia and brought his sister across. And when he came, he settled here with an Australian and had three great kids. And actually one of them went on to have a career in the Navy as well. So no links to World War I, but definitely to the Navy. <laughs> I find that everyone that I talk to knows some level um, of the story of Simpson Jay, um, but not a lot. Uh, everyone knows him as Simpson and his donkey. They know him as an Anzac, but they don't really know his history and his story and, and where he came from and it, what he was like at school and how he ended up in Australia and, and on those ships and, you know, unfortunately on that beach sort of in Turkey. Um, I want people to see him not just as the, the story that we all know, but as, as a young boy, as a young man, as someone who went above and beyond to do things that he was told continually not to do, not to, you know, leave his tent or leave his bunker and to keep his head down, he refused when there were people in trouble. And I mean, I, I know that he was, he was born a Brit, but he's as Aussie as he gets.